Hey sports card fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. At this year's National, I had a chance to bump into Sammy Thunder. And as we were talking, he mentioned my card catalog uh, that I have in the background here. And he said that he's been trying to uh, find one, I guess, to store some of his uh, baseball cards. And he liked the idea, but that he was having a hard time finding one. Um, they, they tend to be pretty expensive. Uh, these are six sections of uh, three columns by five rows, or each section has 15 drawers. And sometimes they can go for as much as $200, $300. And I told him the story of how I acquired my library card catalog to put my Wade Boggs uh, collection in. And after I told him the story, he said, hey, John, that would make a great YouTube video on how you uh, acquired that. So I'm taking Sammy's advice and uh, telling you the story and background on how I came about uh, getting this card catalog. I had always uh, wanted one. I, I thought it would be perfect to store baseball cards, uh, and they are. Um, maybe not PSA holders or anything slabbed, maybe, but individual cards and top loaders and even uh, mag holders, they work perfect. So I this was maybe about 15 years ago or so that I, that I picked this up, and I had heard that uh, my local library where I grew up, they were moving to a new location, a brand new building. Actually, it was a renovated old uh, mansion uh, that they had bought, got some grants to uh, refurbish, and decided to move from their old location downtown uh, to this new location. And in the process, they had a whole bunch of stuff uh, older stuff that they were replacing. So they decided to have an auction to recoup some costs to put toward the new library. And I had heard that they were gonna auction off some library card catalog sections. So I think I ended up maybe taking off work. I forget when the auction started, but of course not knowing when this was actually gonna come up for auction, I wanted to get there early enough so I didn't miss it. And if I recall, it was in the summer because it was really hot. So I get there. I think it may have been mid-morning. And I'm waiting around, looking around. I knew a couple people there, so I started talking with them. <clears throat> and item after item kept coming up, but no library card catalogs. And I knew there, were, there was going to be some interest there by antiques dealers and stuff. So I wasn't holding up much hope of maybe even being the high bidder at something, but I wanted to give it a chance. Now, with it being so hot, I didn't think that I was going to be there for a long time, and so I didn't bring any money with me. So it's hot, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, they have a little stand over there selling the hot dogs and soda and stuff like that, but I didn't have any money. So I'm waiting around, and in fact, I think I'm in my um, business attire. I have dress slacks, and I don't know, maybe a... Uh, maybe a short sleeve shirt, long sleeve shirt, but all I know is I remember I was really hot. And auction after auction was going and nothing about these card catalogs. Now they did have a smaller single section uh, card catalog. I think it was uh, two by two by four, two by five. So I thought, okay, this would gauge to see where uh, these are selling for. And I think just that single small one, I think went for over $150. So I'm thinking, okay, this, this is probably not gonna go very well because all the other sections are, are much larger. Um, again, this is a, a six, uh, six piece section. And so again, I keep waiting, I keep waiting, I keep waiting. And finally, I bet you it is, if it's not the last item, it's like the next to last item for the whole day. They waited for this item to be put up for auction. So again, I'm hot, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. And what they did was they um, started the bidding, but the way it was gonna work is that um, 
they were auctioning off one section. And whoever was the high bidder could pick how many sections they wanted. And if there was any leftover, then it would go up for another bid. And that winner could pick as many as they wanted that are remaining. So bidding started, it's, you know, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 70 bucks, so on and so on. And I'm waiting around a little bit and then maybe around 80 or $90, I say, yep. And it goes up to, to 90 and then 95 and then 100 and 105. And I that said 100, I said I, I bid 100 or 110, it was $110. Now, I know there were a group of antiques dealers hanging around. Now, I don't know if they, what they thought of me, like who's this person? I don't know who this person is. Obviously it's not one of us. And I don't know if they thought that, you know, I was just interested in one section, but again, it was a long day and one, I wanted all of them. So when the auctioneer, when I won it for $110, the auctioneer says, how many sections do you want? And I, I, I didn't mean to be dramatic, but I looked at it and I looked at him. I'm like, I want all six. And I started walking away, like point me to where I pay. Like wh where do I give my credit card to? I want all of them. I want to go home. Like they're mine. I didn't even like get excited about winning the auction. I was just so tired to have it over with. And when I said to the auctioneer that I want all six sections, you could hear all the other um, antiques dealers sort of like their, their jaw drops, like what? Like we, we let those go for $110 each. Like I said, they normally go, if you search on eBay or, or other places, uh, some people ask like up to $300 for each section. And not only did I get the six sections, but I got, there's a, there's a top to them. And then for two of the sections, there are the drawers that pull out. So you can set the, uh, individual, um, drawers on to, to, to look through. But that's not the end of the story. So I, I, I paid $660 for all of that, which was a bargain in itself. But the story doesn't end there. Now, these are library card catalogs. So I thought I was just getting the, the drawers, the cabinets, and, and so on, the tops the, and the, the pullout drawers, right? Well, the next day, because I didn't have uh, transportation, luckily, again, I, I knew some people there and I said, hey, um, I can arrange for transportation. Can I pick the stuff up tomorrow? And they said, yeah, sure. No, no problem. So I go to pick the stuff up and like they're heavy. I mean, they're really, really heavy. And I come to find out that probably about half of the drawers. So there's 90 drawers in total. Half of the drawers have the index cards, the, the actual car, the, the catalogs of the cards. So I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. I'll, I'll just pick everything up. I'm like, so, I mean, what do I need these for? So like I said, I probably had each drawer probably held close to a thousand. I, I may be off a little bit. So we're talking maybe 40,000 index cards that I had with this card catalog. So I'm like, well, what I, I was about ready to just, you know, take them and just throw them in the garbage. But before I did, I did a search on eBay and come to find out, you never know what's people are interested in, in buying that there were people buying these index cards for like art projects or something. There was, some something that, that people would buy these and use these i i don't really know all i know is people were selling groups of 100 250 500 1000 um and they were selling not for huge bucks but i forget what i got for 100 of these they were like 5 bucks or something like that when you factor in shipping and in ebay you can make a few bucks and then of course the the higher amounts you could charge more I ended up selling, I have obviously I haven't sold all of them. I probably have a, still a few thousand left, but I bet you I sold at least 
30,000 has to have been at least 30,000 of these index cards to people wanting these for little art projects. And I think I sold those 30,000 for probably a net profit after all the eBay fees and shipping of probably around $800. So yes, I paid $660 for that card catalog, but through selling these index cards on eBay, I made that back and then some. Now, of course, I outlaid the 660 and every time I made a sale of these, it went to some Wade Boggs cards. So technically I was still out the 660, but this helped furnish about $800 worth of, at the time, uh, Wade Boggs cards. So that's the story on how I acquired my library card catalog that currently stores all my Wade Boggs cards. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, that story. I know Sammy did, and that's why he suggested I tell all of you my story as well. So with that, that's all I have for you. As always, thanks for watching.